The SAPI GSE is a leading structural engineering software for the analysis and design of structures for concrete, steel, wood, and aluminum. The software is a great tool to help design and analyze various structures with many automated design functions that still allows any user to personalize any design elements. The SAPI GSE supports the latest design standards for Canadian, American, and the international standards for concrete, steel, wood, and aluminum. This video gives an overview of analyzing and designing an aluminum building in the SAFI GSC. The model here is a simple 3x3 bays braced frame with a mezzanine. The structure is submitted to live loads on the mezzanine, snow loads on the roof, and wind loads on the left side wall. The design is made per the 2015 aluminum design manual. Columns are assumed to be laterally braced against the buckling only by connected beams. The beams are assumed to be connected to the columns by shear tabs welded to the columns and bolted to the beams. Partial welds at member ends are defined by each wall of each column where a beam is connected. Beams are laterally braced against lateral torsional buckling by the floor joists. The unbraced length is defined as the spacing between the joists. Bracings are defined as tension only members. The load combinations have been automatically generated per the ASCE 7 code. As stated in the aluminum design manual, a P-delta analysis will be conducted using the direct analysis method for stability design. Design results can be viewed directly on the main screen for all load combinations or a customized set of combinations. It is possible to view the elastic stress distribution on any member of the model using the advanced section stress analysis feature. Intermediate results required to validate the calculations are provided in spreadsheets for a selected set of members or the entire structure for every design check. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to Safi's YouTube channel and visit our website www.safi.com to stay updated on the latest features of the software.